this book is public domain. I do not have it behind a paywall. I'm not asking for a price. You know, Jesus said, freely you have received, freely you should give. And God has blessed me not only spiritually, like giving me understanding. Spiritual wisdom is something that I have prayed for for years and years and years. And I, it's not, when I prayed, started praying for it like a decade ago, like it wasn't like I, I really even knew what it was. It was just something that God really highlighted to me that I needed to pray for, spiritual wisdom and discernment. And so I've been praying and like I've realized little by little God has, has given this to me. And um, anyway, so, so like in some sense like this, this material is like freely given to me. It's like can I take, can I take credit that I came up with some such thing? Like oh, that's ridiculous. Like this is God's word. Um, and anything that I have to say about it is really because he revealed it to me. May I, may I never say something that is my own opinion, but frankly, that's not really helpful. Everybody's got an opinion. Um, there have been times so, so many times whenever I wanted to buy a book because, you know, the claim is, you know, revelation from God. This is encouraging. This is edifying. This will build you up. Something like that. And I, I just couldn't afford it. And there would even be times um, they the publishers, unfortunately, play this kind of game on Amazon where they try and um, prop up their ratings um, because books that are sell more are listed higher in the rankings, right? And so more people see them. And so they'll take a book that's normally nine ninety nine and they'll put it down to a ninety nine cents or less than a dollar, and then that will, you know, you're 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 moving on to the the um, you're moving on the demand curve, and so people are gonna people are going to buy more copies of the book, right? Which inflates the numbers. And so there, there was one specific book that, that did this. It was on sale, right? Um, it did this. And I, and even though it was less than a dollar, I didn't, I didn't have the money. I couldn't afford it. And that, ha this, ha this kind of thing happens to me over and over and over again to the point where I'm just like, you know what, God, if I'm ever going to write a book, I am not going to put it behind a paywall and say, if you don't give me what I want, which is cash money, how much of that I want, $9.99 or whatever, then you you can't have it. Uh, there was actually one time that, that I was working on this or some other project and the Lord rev revealed to me um, what Jesus said in Matthew 6.33 Seek ye first the kingdom of God and of righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. And whenever he said that to me, I was I was stunned because it's not like I'm Mr. Spiritual trying to seek first the kingdom of God. Like that wasn't on my radar at all. I wasn't trying to do that. I was just trying to to do what I felt like God was putting on my heart. And I realized like, wow, like I was I was actually had the privilege of seeking first the kingdom of God. That is feeding a sheep. That is doing the work that God has. And whatever whatever the the provision is, it it was going to come however God wanted to reveal it. And it wasn't going to come from me conjuring or me trying to assert some kind of control over something. Uh, I just think about. I think about Paul and I just like, you know, what if Paul took the same attitude that unfortunately a lot of content creators in uh, Christian media today take, um, all rights reserved and, um, you just pay, make the little payment. And if you don't make the little payment, then, um, unfortunately you just need to respect my copyright, something like that. And I was just like, what if, what if Paul said, 
Like, I mean, can you imagine him getting into an argument with the Lord? But Lord, I have a copyright. And if they don't respect my copyright of the letter to the Ephesians or the Romans, then they shouldn't be able to get it. And they're taking advantage of me. <laughs> can you imagine that? How is that argument going to go with the Lord? <laughs> you know, well, I can tell you, for me, if I were if I were in his position and I were making that argument, the argument would not go well. <laughs> not for me, it would not go well at all. Uh, and so, like you see, like how, like like literally, Christendom, the 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 rapid expanse of the church would be stifled. Because Paul needed a couple bucks in his pocket, you know? And it's like, if there's anybody, if there's anybody who has a legitimate cost, right? For me, I put a PDF on Google Drive and, you know, crap, if a billion people downloaded the, the document, probably Google would be like, what's going on? They probably wouldn't be very happy with it. I doubt that that's going to happen. But for for... Maybe thousands of people downloading the book, like Google won't, won't even notice. Like the marginal cost of multiplying the the PDF file is zero. It's zero. But that's not the case for Paul, who had to write on parchments. And any time he wanted to send another letter or a copy to someone, it had to be handwritten, which, of course, is laborious and time consuming. And there's uh, all kinds of opportunities to make mistakes. And so, like, if there's anybody who had a legitimate reason to charge because he had legitimate costs, it was Paul. But he didn't do it. Of course, he, Jesus, of course... He sought first the kingdom of God and all these things were added unto you. Of course, that's what he did. And then, of course, the example of Jesus, like in Philippians 2, have, have the, this mind. Though he was God, he did not consider equality with God something to cling to. He emptied himself. He humbled himself to obedience, even to death on a cross. And so if Jesus had this attitude of, um, all rights reserved, um, I'm the son of God. Do you know who I am? legitimately so he has the right to be in heaven worshiped by angels jesus forever in perfect joy and perfect peace and perfect glory can you imagine if the son of god said all rights reserved jesus i mean can you imagine that i mean it, it, what it means for us it means for him i guess uh joy um what it means for us is hellfire Jesus, because there's no atonement. There's no cross. Anyway, Jesus said, freely you have received, freely you should give. And so like the idea that, that God has, and it's not like I don't have bills, I have bills just like everybody else, obviously. But like um, God has put me in a position where I've been forced to live by faith and have seen him provide for me and meet my physical and spiritual needs over and over and over again, year after year after year after year after year, okay? And so then I'm like, well, heck, I, I'm taken care of. And so I can record the things that the Lord is teaching me and I can just give them away for free and I don't have to do any of this this stuff. Um where I demand all rights, Jesus, I demand all rights reserved. And um, I put something behind a paywall, lock it up. And so the, the point of this whole video is like, this is free. And uh, I, I had twin values. I said, Lord, I'm going to pray an outrageous prayer. Number one, I want to give it away for free. But number two, I want it to be the best. I want a spirit of excellence like Daniel had. I don't want to give it away for free and just be some little hodgepodge something. Like I want it to be excellent. I want it to be rigorous. I want it to, to be something like a hunk of meat that you're like, I'm not. <laughs> you gotta like contend with it. You gotta. Um... You got to deal with it. It's, and, it and because, because 
um, God has put on my heart to to exalt his word and, and make his word, his word, not mine, first and foremost in this book, it is, even if you did never read any of the footnotes and you just read his word like like the the cases the case that I make for the Holy Spirit um, having various qualities and, and being a certain type of person, like just the scripture itself makes the case. See, when it, when you see all the scriptures together, you're like, wow! Like the like actually, the evidence for this particular point is actually pretty substantial, and then you don't even need to read the footnotes. So this um, this is a a blessing for me that I'm able to contribute something because I've been a consumer for so very long, and I I get to give something back. And that's an honor, Jesus. It is an honor and a blessing and a privilege for me. And you know what Jesus said? It's more blessed to give than to receive. And so I I have experienced that. I haven't always had that attitude. <laughs> but I, I get I get to experience that, um, that people can, can be blessed by what the Lord has given me.